Hey everyone, uh, here's the thought for the day, for today, and because I've got two rooms in my house, what I thought I'd do is I'd um, give you my thought while I'm on my walk on Ladysmith Road on this street here. Now, I hope that all of you have been involved in the, the Clap for Carers event on Thursdays at 8 o'clock in the evenings, and that's been really fantastic um, to be a part of, to, to support those key workers that are giving uh, their safety, their family safety, so willingly to help the fight against uh, coronavirus and COVID-19. But it was funny, when I did it the first time, um, I found myself being a little bit apprehensive um, because there was something about poking my head out the window and making that contact with, with so many strangers that um, I just thought was kind of scary. Uh, being an introvert, the idea of making eye contact with a bunch of people I don't know while clapping is probably not at the top of my list. But that wasn't going to stop me from supporting those, uh, those key workers at the end of the day. Uh, so me and Gina, that's what we did on the Thursday. Two weeks ago, we, we poked our heads out the window and we started clapping, we started cheering. And the most amazing thing happened because we realised that hundreds of other people on our street was doing the same thing. They were doing the same thing. And I realized about halfway through that I was getting kind of emotional watching it happen. And I think the reason for that is because I've never seen something connect so many people on such a seemingly deep level um, who are all strangers as well, really. And I'm sure you probably found the same thing. I know a lot of people I've spoken to have found the whole thing, the whole process of tapping for carers over the past two weeks really emotional um, and quite a profound experience. But the reason I bring this up and the, re the way I'm going to bring this back to the thought for the day is I wonder if you're a Christian, do you get that emotional? Do you get that overwhelmed when we meet together as the church to worship God? Because let me tell you something, we are, as Christians, we are all people who have been ransomed and redeemed, saved from our sin by Jesus' death and resurrection. And we have true community, true unity because of what he did. Yeah, I'm, I'm inside now and that's because someone phoned me halfway through me walking down the street. But let me go back to what I was just saying. We have true unity and true community through what Jesus did. Here's what Paul tells us the church is in 1 Corinthians 12, verse 13. The human body has many parts, but many parts make up the whole body. So it is with the body of Christ. Some of us are Jews, some of us are Gentiles, some are slaves, and some are free. But we have all been baptized into one body by one spirit, and we all share the same spirit. You see, what Paul is telling us is that the church is full of different races, it's full of different socioeconomic statuses, it's full of different people, but we are all one body in Jesus. And when we become Christians, when we accept the death and resurrection I was just talking about, when we've been made right with God, we become brothers and sisters, baptised into one body by one spirit. And my question is, when I look at the street that I was just on, on Thursday evenings and I'm amazed and I'm emotional by what's happening around me. How much more amazed should I be? How much more emotional should I be when I see the church worshipping God together? Because that alone is an absolute miracle. That you can have so many people united in the deepest, most fundamental way. And if you're not a Christian and you're watching this video, let me ask you something. Let me tell you something. That sense of community that you feel when you clap for our carers on Thursday evenings, that is great. Thank you for doing that. But you can have that unity on an even deeper level, on a, on a cosmic level. Because when you accept that Jesus died for your sins, when you accept that he rose again and defeated your sin so that you can have a perfect relationship with him, that is when you will experience community like you've never experienced it before. Community with God himself and community with the church, your new brothers and your new sisters.